We're gonna talk about grip, holding sticks in your hands to play the drum. I'm holding the sticks the same, and so this is known as match grip. Some people play in another way that looks like this, where one hand is turned underneath, and this is known as traditional grip. And the cool thing about today is that you don't have to worry about that. We're just gonna strictly talk about match grip and how to get that done. The main thing, it may seem weird because you're playing drums and you think, I'm gonna rock, is that you really wanna be relaxed. Everyone's built a little bit differently. So even as we go through this, if it doesn't look exactly like the way that I'm doing it, it's okay because you're not me. It's gonna be different. Everyone's hands, arms, everything's built a little bit different. Let's jump right into it here. You're gonna put the tips of the sticks on the pad, open your hands so that they're facing up. You're basically gonna grab between the index finger and your thumb right around the first knuckle and you're gonna hold them on either sides of the stick. Not tightly, you're just gonna hold the stick. The other three fingers just wrap around a stick to make sure that it doesn't fly all over the place when you actually go to hit the drum. Then turn your hands out until they're facing down. Try that one more time. Hands are up, pinching between the index finger and your thumb. These fingers wrap around the stick. Turn your hands out until they're facing down. This is basically the grip. You kinda get a line that goes from the tip of the stick, knuckle, and then up your arm. If your arms are way out like this, it's gonna be hard to play and it also looks strange. If they're way, way in, this is equally weird and all of a sudden your shoulders push up like crazy and that's also strange. A good way to get comfortable with this is just rest your hands at your sides and then bring them up and just set them on the drum or the pad in a way that just feels comfortable and relaxed to you. Well, that's kind of where you want to be, right in this position. Now, even from here, there are a couple different things that happen. Some people play thumbs up in this position. Now, this is really more known as the French grip or timpani grip. There are some people that play this way. I don't play this way very often. The only time I really use this grip is if I'm playing uh, timpani, obviously, which I don't do too often, or if you're playing, I'm playing on a ride cymbal in a jazz context where I'm at the snare here and I would turn to my ride cymbal and I'll play with my thumb up like that. Other than that, I'm basically in this down position. Even when I play the hi-hat, I'm still more in this down position. Now, if your hands are way out, this is known as a German grip, okay? Now, I don't really play this way either. Um, it's a little bit stiff for me and not comfortable, and I'm probably exaggerating this a little bit. Where I tend to hold the sticks is somewhere in the middle, and this has become known as an American grip, where you're not all the way up and you're not all the way out. You're somewhere here. And that allows my arms to hang nicely at the side, my shoulder and everything are just hanging nice and comfortable, and this is where I wanna be. Now that you have your grip, we wanna be able to work on actually playing the drum. An easy way to do that is to play an exercise called eight. You're gonna play eight rights followed by eight lefts, very slowly. And the idea is just to be able to watch your hand and see what's happening as you're using the stick and rebounding it off of the drum, or the pad in this case. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I wanna point out a couple things. One is I'm not using my arm in order to get that to happen, and I'm not yanking with my fingers right now. I'm mostly using my wrists, although I will say my fingers are engaged a little bit just because they're attached to my hand and they're following the stick. Now the idea is to not to stop it when it hits the pad and it's not to bounce it into it either. You just want to use the wrist and allow the natural rebound that comes off the pad to move the stick back up. It's going to be very much like bouncing a ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 I'm just using the energy of the stick naturally to push it back down. I'm not using any real energy in order to make the stick move or do anything like that. The other thing to think about is that if you're right-handed and you're playing and this is going well, five, six, and then your left hand goes like this, you know, um, all you have to do is, well, you might want to stop and then look at the hand that is, feels comfortable and try to get the other hand to match that. So if my right hand is going well, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm gonna try to go, okay, I want this to hand to look as much like that hand as humanly possible. Again, none of these things are exact sciences. You're not gonna be playing in a straight line up and down. There's no gonna be any perfect straight line from anywhere. You're built a little bit differently. You just wanna find something that feels comfortable and and that works for you and know that the way that you do it may be slightly different than the way everybody else does. That's it. You got it.